Have you learned how to play Siamese Mahjong yet? This is the format where you play two hands at one time against one opponent as opposed to four. It really is a lot of fun. It's very challenging. But I find that when I first get those 28 tiles, 27 tiles, it's a bit overwhelming. So I practice. One thing I do is a game called Solitaire. Now this is not the Solitaire from your iPhone where you pick off pairs from layers of tiles. This is working with the tiles, playing two hands at one time. Or really for Siamese, it's playing for two people with two hands at one time. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, just watch this video. It'll give you a good idea on what it's like to play the game. If you have a set at home, give this a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed and built into walls to the left of these tiers. This way we can keep an eye on the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left in the walls. There's a lot of strategy when monitoring these walls. If you want to know more about that, there's a link below the video to a core strategy handout that I give players at my lessons. Maybe it'll help. I'm going to deal the tiles. Player one gets 28. Player two gets 27 tiles. Everyone has their tiles, so let's see now what we can do with these tiles for player one. My, my, look at all these dragons. If I had a flower, and the tiles for it, I would play the big ear hand, but I don't see that happening here. There are way too many gaps, but I definitely want to leverage that. I'm thinking we should play a quint. We do have some multiples here that we could maybe use. Pair of nines, pair of nines, fives, fours, ones, eights. So I'm going to hold these off. And let's see, I'm going to plan a category for the second hand, try to make a quint. And I'm fully aware that I have no jokers. That's okay though, because I believe that I'm going to draw some. So let's see if we can force a quint. And if I'm going to force a quint actually, maybe I'll save, oh, wait a minute. There's a potential 998 pair hand here. 998. Okay, let's put these up here. So maybe the quint can use either the ones or the fours. Okay. One or four. Now that is a lot of discards, eight, nine, 10, 11 discards. But if we're playing a pair hand and a quint, I think it'll be worth the risk. Oh, we need this. So I'm gonna put it in order like, like it is on the card. Nine, nine, eight, seven, nine, seven, nine, eight. Probably this one, I don't know, we'll see. If nothing else, this 998 pair hand, there's a great transition to like numbers. If it doesn't work, we can always switch to like numbers, in which case I'm gonna hold the dragons because there is a like number hand that uses dragons. Let's keep the fives here too because we can do the quint with any of these multiples, whichever one comes in. So that leaves us with six discards. I think that's a good plan. Quint with no jokers, 
998 pair hand. And that pair hand, by the way, is the second from the bottom under singles and pairs. Okay, now let's look and see what we can do for player two. For this player, I see a lot of four, five, four, five consecutive run, maybe three, six, nine for the second category. So let's just break it out. We have four, five, four, five, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Anytime I'm playing a mixed suit consecutive run, I like four numbers in a range. Two, three, four, five. And what that leaves are six, seven, eight, nine. I think maybe a seven or a six, three, six, nine category. Let's just see. Okay, two, four, four, five, four, five, four, five, three, bam. There is a consecutive run hand in here. Three, four, five in mixed suit, Kong hand. So maybe six, seven, eight, nine would be better. Consecutive run. I'm thinking we're in between three, six, nine and six, seven, eight, nine consecutive run. So that's what I would do here. We do have some joker bait that we can maybe leverage. Oh, here, let's keep the seven. If we play six, seven, eight, nine, or three, six, nine, I want to keep the three and six, seven, eight, nine. This is joker bait, so I would start by discarding those. Up here, three, four, five. If I had to pick a hand, we're in between two. Three, four, five, mixed suit Kong hand, which is the fifth one down, or the concealed Pung hand at the very bottom of consecutive run. Four five four five, and then this would be used down here with three six nine. Let's just count one two three four five six seven. Seven tiles towards three six nine. One two three four five six seven. Yeah, that's not so good. I I like having more like I don't know nine or ten. Uh, one two three four five six seven. Yeah, seven is okay. It's a decent start, but it could be better. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to discard the east. Okay. Now we're going to draw for, oh yeah, I'm going to use this to mark whose turn it is so I don't screw up the, the tiles. If you forget to draw or discard, you wreck your game. So try to find some kind of a marker, and I just used this. So we just discarded the east, and now it's player two. It's their turn to draw. So here we go. There's a three, three, four, five Kong hand maybe, or three, six, nine, something or other. Okay, we don't have to pick a hand really because we have discards, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. We're gonna discard the East since it was already thrown. You can move the game along by discarding tiles you know you don't need. We know we don't need those, so we don't need to hold up the game and try to figure out what we're gonna do we just push the game along by discarding. So let's now draw for player one. South. We don't need it. We're looking at north, dragon, pair up, jokers. That's the plan there. So we'll discard that south. And now we're going to draw for player two. Three crack. That's a potential three, six, nine. Let's just put it down here. This can go up here for consecutive run, the mixed suit plan, but because of where the multiples are, I, I don't think we can use that three. And I don't wanna discard it because I want flexibility with either three, six, nine or consecutive run, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's discard the West. And now we can draw for player two. One crack. 
yeah, that's not helpful. We can go ahead and discard the four BAM maybe, although I do see a potential consecutive run quint here. Fours, two, three, four. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of the three crack. Up here, we only have one three crack and I don't even know what hand I'm playing. So I'm not even gonna flinch at that. Five crack, that's a keeper. Okay, so because we have a strong multiple here, a pung and now a pung, I think we should go ahead and commit to three, four, five, Kong hand, that would be <clears throat> the fifth hand down. We still have some flexibility, so I do want to hold the four, five, and the four. Let's go ahead and get rid of this white dragon. White dragon. Okay, now down here, oh, I forgot to move my marker. Down here, we have to decide, do we want to take that? I don't think so. I don't even have any jokers. The only other thing we could maybe do if we do Kong that is we could give greater important importance to the three here because we could play three, four with the matching Kong of dragons. That would be the third hand down. We do have a gap though. We have no flowers. So as an option, we could switch to one the one through five, one suit consecutive run hand, the first hand under consecutive run. We have a gap of no five dot, but I don't think that is gonna hurt too badly. I think, let's see, I think I'm not gonna take it. I don't wanna commit to it. This we could even switch potentially to a year hand. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tiles towards the year hand, but I would really like to still play a quint or a pair hand. So I'm gonna let it go. Three dot. Let's discard this one crack. All right, now we're gonna draw for this player. This is joker bait. Since player won through it, that's not gonna work. So we can discard that. One bam, that's not a keeper, but nobody's gonna want this. So let's get rid of it. And we'll draw for player one. Nine dot, that's a keeper. So we're in between like numbers and the nine, nine, eight pair hand. Let's get rid of the four bam. We could still switch to consecutive run, one through five, one suit. We're gonna draw for player one, nine dot. Let's get rid of this one crack. We still really don't have to pick a hand yet for either of these. Let's draw for player one, one dot. Okay, there's some movement towards a quint. Let's go ahead and discard the four crack. We could maybe even play one, three, five with dragons, the concealed little odds hand. That would be the last hand under odds. Let's draw for player two, five dot. Okay, we need to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're in between the Kong hand Mix suit Kong hand, fifth one down, or the last hand under consecutive run. Either way, we don't need these. Let's discard. And we can draw for player one. Flower. We may or may not need that. Let's discard this two dot. And we can draw for player two. Eight crack. We can discard a two bam. That won't affect either of their plans. And now we can draw for player one. Seven bam. We still don't have to worry about this down here. We need to get rid of something up here now. We have ones and fours. Let's go ahead and keep the one suit and get rid of the five bam. No takers. 
So that'll be a good discard. We're going to draw for player two. Four crack. All right. Change of plans. This can maybe be used down here for a 369. Here we have 10 tiles towards the 4 5 concealed pung hand. We might even be able to get that set with these jokers. We need one more tile to be ready to win. We need a flower or a four crack or another joker. So let's now see here. I'm thinking we could still play three, six, nine or six, seven, eight, nine. Either way, we don't need this. Let's move the game along. And then we can draw for player one. Five dot. We don't need to make a choice yet. We can discard the five, bam and draw up here for player two. Green Dragon. Oops. Green Dragon may or may not be helpful. Let's count three, six, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think though, because we have a pung of threes, I think three, six, nine might be stronger than consecutive run. Let's focus on 369. 369. There's work to be done though. I wouldn't even pick a hand. There are too many potentials and not enough tiles. So let's go ahead and discard the eight bam. And now we can draw for player one. Joker. Joker. We need that. We're playing a quint. Okay, now we have to decide. So we have a potential one, three, five concealed. I think that's probably what I would do since we don't have stronger multiples for a quint. We have only, we do have the a pung here and a pung here, but we have only one joker and the white dragon is out. So I think we should switch from a quint to one, three, five concealed little little odds and that'll free up some discards and we still don't have to decide between a pair hand with 998 or like numbers let's go ahead and discard the north it looks like nobody wants wins okay we're going to draw for player two there's flower that's required and now this hand is ready to win on a four dot, five dot, or four crack. So we'll take it forward and discard the seven dot. Now we can draw down here. So we're gonna draw first west. Yeah, that's a, that's a discard. We can just go ahead and discard that. So there's a seven dot and a seven bam out. We do have a pair, oh, let's see, a seven dot. We have no seven dots and an eight bam is out. So we need to keep an eye on that if we're gonna play that pair hand. We need seven eights and nines. So let's draw. Two bam, we can discard that. We are through that second wall. We're going into the third wall now. This is when players need to solidify their plans. Maybe whittle down to one category if they're in multiple categories. Towards the end of the third wall, these players should know what hands they're playing. Let's go ahead and let's see here. We're gonna draw for player one. Two crack. That's a discard, but let's go ahead and get rid of the north because nobody wants that for sure. Let's draw for player two. Nine bam. Three six nine. Three six nine. We're going to discard the eight dot. And we'll draw down here. But first, I want to say one of the nice things about playing a concealed hand is that you can 
you can use these tiles interchangeably since you're staying concealed. So we could even use these flowers down here if we change our minds. But this hand's ready. I might even declare a win on that one because we're so far from here. If I had to pick a hand for the 369, I might play the, the um, let's see here. Which one? Three, six, three, six, nine, three, six, nine, nine. The third one down, we have kind of a shy tile here, but three, six, nine in pairs and then Kongs of nines. That would be the third hand down. We need more jokers though. All right, well, let's draw two bam. That's a good discard. We're gonna draw now for player two south nobody wants wins we're gonna draw for player one eight crack that's a keeper nine eight seven nine nine eight so most likely this is gonna come here we need a nine dot we can discard that we need two eight bams a seven crack maybe there's work to be done and I still want to keep those dragons for a potential switch to like numbers or or maybe big odds if we can get a five crack or a five bam. Let's discard this two crack and draw up here. Five dot, that's a keeper. That's a winner right there. We would have to use these jokers though. Pair of flowers, pung, 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 four, five, four, five. So let's go ahead and get rid of the eight crack. We don't need any of these right here. So, and we, we can still use these down here. So let's see what we can do. I may not commit those there yet. Cause if we draw the fours, we could then declare a winning hand maybe, and then use these down here to help with these nines. Let's draw four player one two dot. Okay, we have, let's see, we have four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, four, eight, nine, ten. Don't count the joker. There's ten tiles towards a concealed little odds hand, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight towards the one through five one suit consecutive run hand. I think at this point I'm going to give up on these dragons. Let's, let's commit to the year hand or the um, pair hand there and we can draw for player two nine bam that was badly needed let's go ahead and get rid of the green dragon that was already discarded and now we can draw for player one seven bam there's a pung in there now okay we're going to get rid of this red we don't really have to worry too much the next pick we're probably going to have to commit Let's draw for player one or player two. Eight bam. We can discard that. So now there's two eight bams out. We need two. I'm kind of thinking we might need to switch to something else here maybe even seven, eight, nine with whites, and then switch this hand to the consecutive run hand. Let's draw though and see what happens. Oh, we don't even need that, so we don't have to worry. Let's just move on and we can draw up here. Seven bam, seven bam. We don't need the seven crack either. Let's just discard that and we can draw down here. Okay, there's another flower, another flower. Okay, we have to decide. This is when we have to decide. So we have nine, you know, we don't need this. Wait a minute, if we switch, let's just count. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 towards a pair hand. There are two eight bams out. That's the big weakness here. We have a 50-50 chance of getting it. Or we could play 
nine or seven eight nine with the dragons this would be the second from the bottom so we have two four five six seven eight nine ten towards that then that would mean we'd need to switch to the one through five one suit we have two four five six seven eight so that would leave a pair of flowers so that's two three four five six seven eight nine discards with this plan here we only have three I think I would stick it out okay so now I think we need to discard yes we do we need to discard I think what I would do here is discard something that weren't that we can use jokers for we can use jokers really for all of them except for the two so at this point let's go ahead and discard the four die we can still recover with a joker let's draw for this player here now we are in uh, the early stages of the third wall we could use this down here and declare mahjong using one joker right here this is almost pure actually i think i'm going to let that go i'm going to draw seven dot that's a discard seven dot we don't need it down here we're going to draw one dot now we have a kong okay one three five one three five kong hand then we could maybe do seven eight nine with the dragons let's go ahead and get rid of the four dot again up here we have to choose now i think i'm going to go ahead and declare mahjong with that four dot okay there's a win right there now three six nine with nines is what i'm thinking three discards let's get rid of that seven bam they don't they need to make a choice now all right the fives are up here i know i'm not going to get the fives for a kong so i'm going to go ahead and stick with only needing one more i'm going to commit to the one three five concealed hand because then i only need one joker versus three because of the fives up here that have been now exposed so we're going to draw and we're not going to switch to the nine seven eight nine with dragons that would require many more jokers as opposed to just one let's keep going to crack we'll draw for player two four bam drawing for player one two dot we could still switch to the no i would not switch we could play maybe one two dragons okay let's count two four six seven eight nine ten eleven versus two three four five six seven eight 9 10 11 with very little need for jokers there's two one two dot out okay let's see about switching to one two dragon this hand is we need actually we do need one joker here but we were shy on let's see these fives is the big problem let's go ahead and switch to one two dragon so we're going to need one more joker regardless actually we don't even have to choose we can get rid of the seven so we're in between little odds with dragons or one two dragon let's draw up here six bam all right we don't need to pick a hand yet three six nine let's see here we have a pung in here we could even maybe play three six six nine we need six dots if we're going to do that either way we don't need the three crack 
we can get rid of that no problem and draw four player one three dot okay let's see the one three five concealed now came back this is why I like leaving my options open flower one three five dragon all we need here is a joker for the five let's go ahead and commit to that and discard the one plus it's a concealed hand more value so one dot was discarded we're going to draw for player two three crack i just threw that and we're going to draw for player one six crack that's not a keeper drawing for player two eight bam we can get rid of that and that pair hand is now dead so we have to switch most likely at this stage we're in the middle of the third wall they may need to switch to defense on that second hand let's draw so let's see what we have here we'll put it in the sequential order at this point this hand is dead we can actually move the game along by discarding two dot we really don't have to decide but we have eight nine seven nine seven eight nine we'll see let's draw up here six crack is a discard we can draw down here red i don't know let's see maybe we could switch to seven eight nine red or eight nine red either way we still don't need this two we can move the game along and draw one crack that would be a discard drawing for player one flower okay that's that might help here what about seven eight nine consecutive run kongs here we have seven eight nine seven eight nine or seven eight nine either way we can get rid of the red we just have one of them and there's one out okay so we're kind of in between we could do seven eight let's see seven nine uh, we could do like numbers with nines we have all the nines all right let's draw right here six crack uh yeah i don't think that's going to be helpful i want to leverage the dots let's draw for player two or player one four bam we can discard that and we can draw for player two six dot all right that might be helpful three six six nine three six nine nine so we have to decide I'm thinking between two different hands the second one down in which case we've got our pungs here but we need more jokers or the six nine the thing is here none are out so we have three six seven eight nine for that second hand the other option is the third one down we have one two three four five six seven eight nine we're in between they're both 25 point hand no one is a 30 point hand the one with the Kongs is a 30 point hand. The challenge there though is we're gonna need more jokers. Let's get rid of the three. I don't think we need this at all. So we're between three, six, six, nine or three, six, nine pairs with Kongs of nines. So we still have one more discard or really, yeah, one more discard before we have to pick and we can draw for player one six dot that's not going to be helpful and that limits what we can do for the three six six nine there are two not six dots out now and we only have one joker let's draw there's a nine crack all right i think we can go ahead and commit to three six nine with kongs of nines let's go ahead and discard the six dots since it's already out we have two discards we're going to draw for player one north that's a discard we'll draw for player 
two green dragon. We can discard that. And now we can draw for player one. Flower. That's good. Flower, seven, eight, nine, or eight, nine. Let's get rid of the seven crack. And we can draw for player two. West. Let's draw for player one. Joker. That's nice. Now we have to decide. Actually, that could be a winning hand here. Here we have a winning hand. At any time, this player could do a second Mahjong. I think I would go ahead and declare Mahjong here to discount that hand. We're way too far away here for double Mahjong. I would not hold that in this case. Plus we're heading into the fourth wall. Now we have to decide what to do. We could do nines, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, or leave options open. Let's get rid of the nine bam. I'm kind of thinking we're just gonna switch to defense there. They're way far away. If you're more than four tiles away from winning on the fourth wall, consider going defense. Let's draw for player two, green dragon. That's a discard. We can draw for player one, red. We can discard that. And draw for player two, joker. Oh yeah. So they're, they're set now. They just need to Kong and Kong. Let's discard the six bam and draw for player one, five bam, not helpful. Drawing for player two, north. Player one, one bam. Player two, eight dot. Player one, we can't act on that. Two dot, that's been thrown. Player one, or player two, east. Player one, two crack. Player two, eight bam. Player one, joker. Oh yeah, that's needed. Let's get rid of the nine bam. Player two, red. Player one, joker. Okay, now we have to decide. This player threw an eight dot. We know that is safe. So let's switch them to these. Eight dot. Player two, flower. We're gonna get rid of it right now. That's a risky tile. Nobody needed it though. Six dot is a discard. And we can draw for player two. Four crack. Player one. Seven crack, we don't need it. Player two, south. Player one, another flower. Drawing for player two. Six bam, we don't need it. Drawing for player one, three crack. Player two, seven dot. Player one, six dot. Player two, five bam. Player one, one bam. Player two, three bam. That's not gonna help. Looks pretty, but it's not gonna help. Player one, joker. Very nice. Let's get rid of that eight dot. 
So we can Kong, Kong, Kong. They're set now. That's kind of a shocker. Player two, eight crack, discard. Kong, right here. And I'm gonna put this in the back. Oh. In real life, this would not be a problem, <laughs> but when, when we play this solitaire, it's kind of hard. Okay, bear with me. All right, now we can discard nine crack. That is Kong. We'll just put it right there, I guess. Well, I better put it back here. I don't want to confuse that with a non-winning hand. So I have that Kong back here. We're going to discard the three bam. They're ready to win on a nine bam. We are going to, or nine dot. We're gonna draw seven crack. Oh, I could have exchanged that nine, but I forgot, because it's way over here. All right, we're gonna draw two crack. Now we're gonna draw for player one, and I'm gonna exchange for a joker. There we go. I lucked out, because now we're ready to win. It's one bam. Ready to win on a seven bam or a nine dot up here. There's three picks left each. Two bam is a discard. They both need the same tile. Drawing for player one, five crack. Drawing for player two, seven dot. Drawing for player one, six crack. Player two, east, one more tile. South, good safe tile. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring these out just so they can be seen. So, We'll just keep them separate. Those were both exposed. Seven, eight, nine, ready on a seven bam or nine dot. We needed a nine dot here. So we have two winning hands. That came out first. This one was declared to offset payment for this one. This is a 25, this is a 30. So this player would actually owe this player five points. I'm really surprised that that 998 pair hand recovered to a Kong hand. That was some pretty fortuitous drawing. I don't like using the word luck because I don't think luck is involved at that point. I think it's more about good decision making and chance. Taking the chance to draw versus claiming a discard and then using skill with decision making in whatever it is that you draw. No luck there. It's decision making and chance. There's a difference. I actually made a post about that on Facebook. Just look at chance skill. Search chance and skill on my Facebook page and you'll see the post on that. I did a little bit of research. You know, Mahjong they say is a game of luck, but I disagree. I think it's about chance and skill. Let me know what you think about that. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.